Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Sofer over at Royal Appleberry, and today I am doing something a little bit different. Just because I am preparing for my craft fair, I'm knocking over stuff, never mind that. <laughs> um, I'm preparing for my craft fair. By the time this video is posted, the craft fair will have come and gone. But I figure since I'm going to do it anyway, because of course I can't make uh, CP soap because it's not going to be ready in time. So, I've been sitting here for about an hour listening to a book, and I've cut up all of this melt and pour. So, um, I'm just going to kind of wing it. Uh, I've been watching a few Melts and Four videos on YouTube, getting some ideas and techniques and things like that. So, I, I'm just probably going to combine them all together and see what I come up with. <laughs> so, I'm going to use uh, Rustic Essentials Ice Mica Rustic Essentials Frosty Rose Petal, their Enchanted Forest Mica, and their Desert Sunbeam Mica. Also, I've been wanting to use this fragrance since today I got it. I just still don't have an idea of what I want to use. Uh, I mean, what color scheme I want to do because this does has vanil. A little, I can't speak. <laughs> this uh, this fragrance does have vanil in it, so um, I don't want my soap to turn brown. That's why I haven't come up with a color scheme that I got I really like. So for now, we're gonna do it in melt and pour. So this is Pinkberry and Tonka Bean. It smells fably ably. So um. I got my mold, which is a mold that you guys, a lot of you know that I don't really care for, but I tend to only use this for melts and pour. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and use it again, just because it makes nice short bars. I don't like the texture in the side, so I'll just plane those off. Alright guys, so let me get everything, uh, just had a brain fart. <laughs> let me get everything situated and I'll be back. Um, I already melted my melts and pour, so I'll be back in a second. Alright guys, so I'm back. Now what I've done is um pour a little bit in these little baby food jars um because i'm going to make some white and then make some i should not use that same this is gonna melt because i'm slow as hell so <laughs> i mean it's gonna solidify because i'm like super duper slow so um i'm gonna have to remelt this several several times that's one of the many reasons why i don't like doing melt and pour because all of the Reheating and melting and blah blah blah. But, um, well, that's part of the process, isn't it? And I finally got myself one of these nifty uh, melt and pour cutters. Oh my gosh, it's a godsend. Thank you. Um, <laughs> because you guys, ooh, wrong one. You guys know me and, um, uh, cutting melt and pour freehand. <laughs> that's a joke okay <laughs> and i cannot afford to mess this up and what in the halibut did i just do with the popsicle stick i just got oh my goodness anyway um yeah i can't afford to muck this up because this is going to a craft fair and i really need to cover this melt and pour so it doesn't get too thick if you think of a little crusty top on it gosh darn it that is like super annoying i mean i literally just had that popsicle stick and i have no idea where it's at anywho so, just grab another one and get to moving before all this stuff hardens up on me. So, yeah, just put a little bit of white in here. It's just going to be a pearly white. Please excuse my super dry hands. I kept washing my hands because I hate the feel of <laughs> melt and pour soap on my hands when it gets, like, super sticky. All right, so there's my white. And then, what I like about these uh, baby food jars is, let me give that a little spray. Just kind of break up with some of that color because you can put the label <laughs> what is wrong with me <laughs> you can put the lid on it <laughs> the label and it tends to keep them from you know solidifying so fast like that one's about to solidify on me so like i said i just need to move a bit faster so i'm going to make that one a darker pink and then the base that i'm going to pour my first layer because i'm going to do this in layers what I'm going to pour is going to be a very, very pale, 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 pale pink. And like I said, i just kind of been watching videos and getting some ideas of what I want to do. You know what? I think I want to throw... No, I'm not. Or should I? I don't know. All right. So, let me close that up. I got that there. And um, I need to get some fragrance in this because I totally forgot. And that would so deadly act, okay? If I <laughs> do all of this and it has no fragrance in it. So, 
I'm going to get my little uh, pipette here and put some fragrance. So I'll just put two of those and I'm kind of going to do it based on, you know, I think that actually should be enough. That might just suffice for the entire loaf. We'll see. But I don't use very much fragrance. And my melt and pour is just because melt and pour holds fragrance really, really nicely. So I'm going to give that a stir and turn to yellow. Give it a spray. Hopefully it doesn't turn it brown. I don't know about vanillin in melt and pour if it actually changed the color of it. I, 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 honestly, I do not know because the only thing I really do melt and pour is in bits. So, if one of you guys can tell me that, if it does or doesn't, and I guess, honestly, <laughs> I'm going to find out soon enough, aren't I? So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I would still like to know. So, I'm going to take this mold and I'm going to put it on a tilt, on a slant, if I can find something to stick under it, which I should have had all of this stuff already prepared. Kenny, Kenny, shame, shame. All right, so, uh, little, 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 what can I use? I'll use my notepad here. All right, yeah. Just make sure it's level. Okay, can you guys see that? Yes, yes, you can. Okay, pour it like that. And did I say I was gonna? Hmm. No, I'm gonna leave this one clear. So hopefully, it doesn't run out the edges of this uh, mold. Cause that would suck if it did. Okay, give that a spray, and I better speed up. I really need to speed up. All right, so get all those bubbles out, and then pour my some white. Hopefully, yep, just like that. I don't want a whole lot. I'm gonna close that up. I think that's gonna turn out pretty. And then the same for oh, I love these jars, the lids, because they just make life so much easier. Rolling milk and pour. Look at that. I'm fancy, y'all. Okay, so pour a little bit more over in that corner. I think this is going to be pretty. All right, and then close this back up. So now give it a spray. And then I'm going to let that solidify. So while that is hardening up, I'm not going to let it get like super uh, hard, just uh, a nice layer on top and once it gets that layer and I don't know how to do this camera angle because I want you guys to be close enough where you can see everything but it's kind of buttoned up against the legs so uh yeah we'll figure that out but anyway I'm gonna let this solidify and then I'll be back okay bye right, guys I'm back um so it's still like really um soft underneath and I think you know what yeah I'm just trying to do too much too soon because I actually was able to keep my melt and pour from solidifying, but it's not warm enough for this gold to mix in. So, um, let me go warm that up. Alright guys, I'm back and I changed my camera angle. I just figured that would be so much better for everyone to see. So, um, you guys can probably see this. I did push down all over and make indentations in the soap to give it some like different levels and dips and things like that so now I'm going to add my green and I don't know how green I want this so I'll just add a little bit hopefully it's opaque um, or slightly see-through yeah which is the same thing I just said <laughs> so um, and what I decided to do too was turn my ceiling fan on and I just did this bass backwards because I normally spray alcohol to get my um, mica to break up a little bit easily or easier should I say so I don't have clumps all in my melt and pour but uh, I'm just gonna give this a good stir and stop burning myself because I keep splashing it but um yeah so I turned my ceiling fan on that did help speed up the process of it hardening and believe it or not that pink and white underneath is still soft it's still moving whenever I was able to poke it so the gold was hard but the pink and white underneath was still kind of a uh, fluid but no matter that's fine so um what is this flying around here 
<laughs> got a little bug in here. I don't know how, but you will. So, um, while I'm talking, guys, I'm just still stirring over here, trying to break up these few little clumps of green mica. But, um, yeah, I, I, I really love the look of melts and pour soaps. It's just like I said before, um, it's just time consuming. It's very time consuming if you want to do like some fancy design or anything like that. So I already sprayed it with alcohol, but I'm going to give it one more spritz. And I, if you, as you guys can see, I tilted my mold in the opposite direction. So hopefully, um, this is not too hot. And it doesn't melt my gold because that would totally suck, man. I think this is going to be pretty. So, that's all my green. And I forgot to rewarm my white. So, I'm going to have to run and go do that. Give that a spray because I do want to pour a little bit of white on the green side. So, be back. It's going to be a lot of breaks in this video. <laughs> so, I'll be back in a sec, guys. Okay, so now I got my white. Um, I just really hate all these breaks, but, oh, well, it's just one continuous video for you all. So, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray that a little bit more. I need to refill my alcohol bottle. So, I was going to lay our skin over that already. So, now I'm going to pour just a little bit of white on the green side. I can pour all that and I'll do a little bit on top of that pink and gold. All right, so that's it. Now we wait <laughs> um go ahead and spritz that again and pour some more alcohol and i'm still i like guess i'm winging this guys i don't really <laughs> have a certain pattern idea of what color i'm just doing it as i go so i think the next layer hmm maybe i will add white or a wee bit of lighter green a lighter shade of green almost transparent green so let me think about that and I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. So now this is still fairly soft, but it's okay. It has a nice um, layer on top of it, so I'm not too concerned. And I have a little, it's like not like, I didn't make it too, too white. It's just kind of like a pearlized white. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that on top. But this time I'm going to take the divider, I mean the divider, <laughs> um, this pad from under it so it's not slanted uh give my white a spray oh okay <laughs> got a little bit of a uh, vapor from this uh, alcohol fly off into my eye not good okay so hopefully i made enough yeah that just covers all of the green and all the white oh that's so pretty i love the way that looks i do i do should have got a spatula because even though it's melting poor i still don't like to waste you know you know you know you know so I'll go ahead and give that a nice spray. And then we wait. <laughs> if you're just joining my channel, hello. I am so glad you found me. And I am known as Kenny the Messy Soaper because I normally make cold processed soap and I make one hell of a mess most of the time. <laughs> so I have my days where I do grand, but for the most part, yeah, I'm spilling stuff everywhere. But I am so gosh darn happy that you are here and you are amongst some awesome sauce people my subbies are the best on youtube ever no one can ever tell me differently and if you watch this far and you enjoy my channel and you like this soap please do give a thumbs up and why not subscribe i would love to have you as one of my stinking awesome crew because that's what i call my subbies and i would love to have you back so um every blue moon i'll pull out a melt and pour and this is one of them because i want to have some melt and pour soaps for my craft there so with that note, um, hmm, I think I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to do a mica layer on top, probably in white or glitter or something. So once this hardened up, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, I am back. And, um, know you guys probably heard me say that like 15 times already. But, uh, what you see here is a little bit of glitter and I kind of smashed it and made some indentations like I did the last layer. And I've already eaten up my pink because I want a nice layer of a darker shade of pink. So let's get that stirred up. That's going to be really pretty. 
And honestly, I just don't even think the glitter is going to make a difference because the pink is probably going to cover it up. But no matter if it gives it a little bit, a little bit of a sparkle, I'm happy for that as well. So, um, let me see if I can try not to make a big gargantuan mess. <laughs> I think I want to, yeah, lift that up just like that. And hopefully it doesn't all run out the side. But we're going to find out, aren't we? So, uh, let's see here. I'm going to try to pour as much as I can, if I can get all of it in there. And it is a success. Love, love, love. Awesome sauce. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to be actually pretty cool. I'm glad I did decide to do that. Just because when I put the last layer, which is going to be like the first, the very, very first layer, which was pretty much a clear uh, with white and pink swirls. I'm going to do the same for the last layer here. So, we're going to let that sit. And then, come back. <laughs> there you guys. Be back. Oh, that ring. My ring light is just kind of all up in here on my soap, but that's okay. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, so now this is the last leg. As you guys can see, I went on and added some gold just because I'm tired. <laughs> and you can still see the pink, so it's not like you missed anything. It's just kind of the same thing repeating itself over and over again. And this has hardened up on this end pretty well, but this side is still kind of tacky, which is absolutely fine. So just going to go ahead and score and make sure my um, layers do not separate because that would be a total bummer. So I just lightly, lightly tinted that with a little bit of pink. And um, I'm going to go ahead and pour that on the top. And hopefully that will be all I need, which I believe I got enough. Oh Lord, please let me have enough because I don't want to warm up anymore. I will. I guess I would have enough if I stopped pouring off the side of the mold. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> so yeah, that worked out perfect. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did with, um, well I thought I was. <laughs> My white has the uh, hardened up so I'll do the pink first which I want to do very little pink on only this side. Oh geez, me pouring um, this melt and pour on the table and for those of you who are new and I told you I'm a very messy soaper even with melt and pour <laughs> okay so that's all I want to add for that and then I need to run and heat up my white Ugh, be right back all right that only took like three seconds so add a little bit of my white and I'm starting to solidify already on the top I'm going to pour some on that side. Mm, yeah, why not? Oh, jeez, I'm pouring it on the table. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why it's going off the side of this uh, little jar, but you well, done now. So, give that a little spray. Not too much, just because when you spray melt and pour with alcohol, not only does it um, get rid of bubbles, it makes your colors disperse as well. So now that I've done that, one last thing, and that's to add a wee bit of glitter. So, where is my, where is it? Okay, here we go. So, use my little sifter. Oh, that is just love, guys, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very happy with the way it looks so far i think it's going to just come out amazing it's going to be a really pretty soap hopefully anyway um i love this sifter and again i told you guys who are new i got the best subscribers ever i was given this sifter as a gift because my subscribers love me and i love them right back you guys fugan rock okay fugan so, I don't have a name for this soap. Probably when I cut it, you, you know how I roll. Once I cut something, then I'm like, hmm, it should be this. So, that's probably what's going to be. Um, 
that's it and I'm going to attach the cutting video because I know once I edit down this video from all the breaks it's probably going to be pretty short um yeah so that's it guys I'm so glad glad that you stuck around I'm just kind of cleaning up all the melt and pour off the sides which I really should just leave it alone but yeah I'm glad that you stuck around for those who are new so glad you're here again if you haven't subscribed already please do hit that subscribe button it's absolutely free and again i would love to have you as one of my fucking awesome stinking crew <laughs> when i say stinking i mean that it's a term of endearment not like a smell <laughs> you guys are beauteous absolutely i call everything stinking. I'm like, oh that's so stinking cute oh i stinking love that so <laughs> that's what i mean but yeah so guys, um, that's it until the cutting video. Hey guys, welcome to Royal Apple Berry. This is Kenny and Messy Soaper coming with a cutting video of my melt and pour soap. That was a very formal introduction, wasn't it? <laughs> As if you guys don't already know me, for those of you who are already here, that was for the newbies. So, um, I am in love with the soap. Yes, yes I am. It turned out brilliant. So it was like 3 o'clock in the morning and I popped in here. I'm just like, you know what, I just, I want to unmold it. I want to see what's going on. So I already cut a piece off, but I want to show you guys the bottom first. And yes, I have pulled out the crusty, musty old cutter. <laughs> Just because I tried my hand at cutting freehand, and we all know how that went. So no need for me to tell you that I mocked it up. Of course I did. But isn't that pretty? Oh, I just love the way this soap looks on the bottom. It's just, oh, it's so gorgeous. And I want to show you, I'm going to show you again, but I'm trying to figure out how to do this. I have my small light here. I probably need to raise you guys up a little bit. I want to show you how you can see through it. And it's like so cool looking. And I can't. Okay. So let's just do that. Sorry about being blinded for a second. Alright. So let's see. If I pop that on top. Can you see that? I know that's like really really close. But it's so cool how you can see through the soap. And it smells so fucking good. Guys. Oh, it smells so good. And I just love that. Oh, I wish I could make this a little bit lower. But, yeah. I love the fact that you can see through it. So, let's get this light out of your, face, your faces. And, again, with the texture. I don't mind, um, the, like, the bumpy texture. I just don't like this. And I get this every single time. Um, I don't, I don't even know what that is. So, <laughs> with this mold, that's why I'm not a big fan of that, this mold. And as you can see, the same thing here. But, whatever, because that can be planed off. So, let's get to cutting this bad boy. Like I said, I already cut one piece. And that's cool looking too, isn't it? You can see, like, the layers that I did here. But, um, where's my potato pillar? Because I do have a babbler and planer, but I just like my potato pillar. <laughs> It's just, I don't know, it just, I think it's just faster for me, so I'm going to um, take my tip from Clyde Yoshida, which he does, and he kind of goes down the edges of his whole loaf before he cuts it, and it just makes life much easier, okay? So, why is my potato pillar so goofy? Look at that, it feels gross. So, let me see, let me pick that up. Sorry about all the noise, but I put that cellophane in there just because, um, that, uh, cutter is, like, really old. And whatever particles of soap or whatever's lurking around in it, I don't want it, uh, to get on my soap. Oh, cute little curly cue. And if I could just get it off without breaking it. Because I, I don't know, I might use it for a picture or something. Oh, that turned out nice. Love that. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I am like really in love with this soap and I freaked out because <laughs> the next few videos that you guys see are going to be melt and pour soaps because I would like to take at least three loaves with me um and so that's all I can really do now you know I can't do any CP soap just because it's not going to be cured in like a week not even a week now so um I'm going to do about three more of these oh oh lord I dropped my potato peeler hold on guys all right guys so I just went ahead and um did my edges and all that stuff off camera just because why not um <laughs> so this is the piece that i cut three o'clock this morning um i love i really do love the way it looks and in, in the light oh it looks maze balls let me tell you guys it is super cool looking i just i don't know i hate striations from like 
that's why I never bought one of these because I know they have a tendency to stick to the blade and I just wasn't in the mood for that but oh well it just makes cutting easier when you use a guy because when you try to cut freehand you end up with that so <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and blaze through this cutting video if it cuts off so sorry just because now my battery's flashing at me and I knew better I knew that I should have um, charged before cutting I was just hoping that I was going to be able to uh, get a cutting video without charging my battery so if it does cut off I will come back go ahead and clean that quickly so I hope you guys are having a fantabulous Sunday because so far I am Let's see I'm gonna do this yeah I don't think this is gonna be a quick cutting video just because Ew, that's hard I just really hope that I can get these straight down. I still have that problem. At the first, I thought it was my knife. Then I just realized and just admitted the fact it wasn't my knife. It was always me. <laughs> I suck at this. So, there we go. So, yeah, that's a little bit better. Oh, look at that. I love this soap, guys. I really do. And I love, I learned from Soap Fantasy about, you know, pushing down the different uh, uh layers because it kind of gives it like this wavy texture so kudos to her i just i really do love her channel so um let's see if i can go ahead and get another one cut without mucking that up let's see i'm just gonna use my my bar as a guide for cutting i want to spray this each cut because I, I like i said i hate when that um blade sticks to my soap and leave that smudge mark so i figure if i clean my blade in between cuts it should help you know cut down on that but this little cutter does help tremendously with cutting melt and pour soaps if i can get it ow, i just hate when it sucks the blade like that i can't even get it off Oh, that sucks. Okay. Come off. All right, there we go. So that's my next piece there. <laughs> I am so in love with this soap, and I didn't show you guys the top, which you had already saw, really. But it is so gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. I think it's so darling. Oh, that's so pretty. So I think I'm going to start adding these to my shop, although they are a pain in the patooter, especially when you want to get really creative with uh, all of the drop swirls and whatever you want to do it is a lengthy process but it's worth it because they're so pretty afterwards i mean uh, do i have to do all of them so you know swirl tastic no i don't i just like to so i do feel like this um uh, is going to cut out <laughs> so i'm um, like if it does i will come back so let me move that soap out of the way before i chop that one just trying to make sure this is straight which looking on camera it doesn't look straight at all no that's not straight of course not all right let's go straight down and if i'm really loud it's like my mouth is right over the top of this camera all right there we go yep i'm gonna make a few of these i think i'm gonna i think it would be like so much easier to do uh, a gradient so with melt and pour because <laughs> i don't have to measure out different um um you know portions of the soap in order to get the colors so that is what i am going to do do a gradient one because all you got to do is let the layer harden a little bit and then get your next one so that is what i plan to do let's see hmm 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 I don't know why these are starting to look like so much thinner. Am I <laughs> going smaller with each cut? <laughs> I hope not. Alright. Let's see. Make sure that's even. I'm really shocked that this battery is still hanging on. Alright. There we go. Yeah, it does seem to help if you clean your cutter uh, in between cuts so that suction doesn't go on and I don't know if you guys can see that but you can see like the little glitter line that I put in there probably not on camera but it's most definitely there and I love it it just gave it a little extra you know I might just keep this uh, 
this uh, pink berry and tonka bean just for melting porridges because like I said I I'm I love it is my most favorite fragrance out of that haul that I got for the spring and summer line but I just did not want my soap to discolor because of the vanillin so that's why I have not uh, been able to come up with a design for it so um I think I will keep it for melt and pour. I, I just kind of feel like these are going to sell well just because they're so pretty. All right, let's see. Make that a little bit bigger. You know what? I am cutting. I end up cutting these at an inch thickness. And I was trying to avoid doing that. Ooh, well. But they're still pretty decent sized bars. So I'll just sell them probably for like four or five dollars a bar. Because they have, even though they're shorter, they do have weight on them. All right, there you go. So they pretty much all look the same, but they are gorgeous. Definitely, definitely gorgeous. All right, so I don't really need my soap guide anymore. <laughs> I'll just use, because like I said, they're cutting it about an inch anyway, a little over an inch. And it's good. I think I'm going to get a sample out of this too. Yep, see, I didn't clean my blade and it left those, um, those drag marks from the soap residue on it which is super annoying oh look at that you can even see through this piece right here without me even holding it up to the light if I can get my fucking hand from under it <laughs> trying to figure out how to layer let's see oh I'm trying to show you that pretty little swirl in there but I will show you guys okay so let me stop mucking around because this battery is about to die all right so go ahead and cut that back piece off clean off my blade yeah i really do like this thing and michael's if you guys have michael's uh craft uh store in your area they always have great coupons get a 50 percent off coupon so i decided to use it to buy this boogie and i'm so glad i did because outside of that it was like 10 bucks and after i bought it, i was like you know what i'm sure i could have found it online much cheaper but at that point, I was just like, whatever. I don't care. So, that's why I went on buy it. Alright, so that's the end. Ah! Alright. <laughs> so, anywho. There you have it. I don't know what I'm going to name this soap. Sorry about my phone ringing. I know that's Gabe. Uh, he calls me around the same time every morning. Well, he's at work and I'm here working in my studio. But, I want to show you quickly under the light. Okay, can you guys see that? Hopefully you can. That's really pretty. And so sorry about the phone ringing. I'm just trying to go ahead and get finished before um, this battery cuts out on me. So there you have it, guys. Um, I'm in love with this. Most definitely so. So that's it for now. If you do like this video and these soaps, please do give a thumbs up. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you're new to my channel, um, hello, I'm so glad you're here. Um, why not go ahead and subscribe? That way you can stay up to date whenever I post new videos, which I post them weekly. And this weather is about to die. So guys, love, kiss, and hugs. Be awesome and amazing. Everything you do, I'm so shocked this battery lasts this long. <laughs> Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.